What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about the grease points on the John Deere 4 Series tractors. Now this is going to apply primarily on the 4Ms and 4Rs and then it gets a little bit different if we move to the 4R heavy duty but not a whole lot. You're going to be looking in the same spots. So let's start with the loader. Nine times out of ten these machines are going to come with loaders on them so it's important that we go ahead and hit where those grease points are. What you're going to have is you're going to have six on either side of the loader. So you are going to have two that are where the loader mounts to the machine up there on the loader frame. One at the top one at the bottom. Then whenever we move here towards the middle of the loader here at what I like to call the knuckle, we're going to have two more. Once again, one at the top, one kind of offset over here towards the bottom. Then whenever we move down here to the quick attach coupler at the front, you are going to have two here as well. One at the top, one at the bottom. Now, as you'll notice, all of these points are places where this machine has a pivot point. So it's going to have either a cylinder attached to it or another moving joint that's going to make some type of pivot motion so we need to make sure that we're greasing those to keep this in all good working condition now once we get past the loader the greasing on this machine gets pretty simple you're going to have four other grease points two of those here are going to be at the front axle and this is going to be greasing the trunnion now the trunnion is the piece that is holding your axle onto the tractor that allows it to have just a little bit of wiggle back and forth to add to that ride comfort so we're going to want to make sure and hit these two grease points one is going to be right here in the front, right underneath the grill here on this cast iron piece. And then you're going to have another one on the back side. It's going to be over on your driver's side front wheel. You're going to look back behind and into this cast piece right up in here. And we're going to want to make sure and grease these at least every 50 hours. Now, our last two grease points are going to be here at our three point hitch. What you're going to have is you are going to have one on each one of our arms going up from the hitch up to our rock shaft arms here so one right here and one right over here now like i said very very simple on the greasing of this machine especially if you don't have a loader if you have a loader you're going to have 12 on the loader four on the tractor making 16. if you do not have a loader you're going to have a total of four grease points on this tractor and this set of grease points is also going to be recommended for at least every 50 hours now this is all going to depend too on how much we use the tractor if we're using the three point a lot really adjusting here we're really working this tractor using it putting a lot of hours on it, a lot of time really working that front axle over some rough terrain you may want to grease these more often than that 50 hours but we need to at least be doing that and then on the loader that can go anywhere from 10 to 50 hours once again that's all going to depend on how much you're using Using that loader but if you are using it a lot say you're using this as a daily operation as maybe your feed tractor you're going out scooping lots of piles moving a lot of material you may definitely want to be looking at that 10 hour interval just to make sure that you're keeping everything good and greased up so that, that loader functions properly for years and years to come now if you are curious about what type of grease to use really as long as you are using some type of machine grease on these fittings you're going to be okay but what is suggested is that you use john deere's sd polyurea or the john deere hd lithium complex grease and if you want to learn a little bit more about those greases i have a couple of videos over those and grease guns that i'll make sure to drop down in the comments section below but i hope this video helped you out i hope that you guys liked this video if you did we just asked you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are looking for more videos like this or just just over John Deere equipment in general. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.